And here we have it, our last B-class MMA fight for the night. We have in the red corner, we have Caleb Ewan from Lions Den fighting in the black and red short. We have in the blue corner, we have Hermione Akioi from Undisputed fighting in the black shorts with the blue trim at the bottom. Have a look at these boys, they are massive. This is going to be a colossal fight. If these boys decide to stand and bang, there's not going to be any survivors from it. It is going to be that heavy. Akioi from starting off with a leg kick. And let's see where Caleb takes this. Both going, oh, and that is some heavy punching. Oh my word, here are money offloading. And Caleb Ewan with the takedown. Oh my, he just goes straight into side control. Let's see where this ends up. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, this is a mammoth event with these boys grappling like this. You can see, you can see Caleb going to look. He's going to look to get his hooks in. He looks like he's maybe got one of them in. He might be looking to get a second one in. These boys from a subtle, subdued side, both all of a sudden exploded into crazy amounts of action. You can see these boys both grappling. We're going to see how good they are. We're looking to control him from here. You can hear Caleb's calling, corner calling for him to put his hooks in. This is obviously going to be their strategy against somebody that is a power puncher like this. Caleb now has both hooks in. He's going to look to flatten him if he can. What you would be looking to doing is getting your arms linked under his arms and just drive your hips forward and down and the guy's legs just pop straight out the back just due to the sheer power and nature of it. Look at it now, he's going to Slee. This is one step further. If he decides to lock it from there, he's going to be locking it straight away. You can see we've got one minute to go. These boys have been all action from the beginning. He's trying to rock it to maybe get that, those legs flattened out. What he wants to be looking for is he wants to be looking for that rear naked. That is where his thing is going to be. This will be weighing down on, on Hiramoni. And here are those thud, thuds of the body punches. These are taking his toll eventually. They will, oh, striking one to the thigh there. This is phenomenal, just brute strength. Pounding down on, on Hiramoni on the bottom there from Undisputed. He is going to be wearing these a little bit later in these next few rounds if he can survive but these boys are definitely all action 10 seconds to go let's see where this fight goes that's to the thigh those are going to cork the thigh up really nicely Wow, what a first round from these boys. All of a sudden, without explanation, just came exploding out with energy. Went for the takedown. Caleb got the takedown, managed to dominate Hiramani from there. Wow, what a fight. If you're in the Lions Den corner, with Caleb, you'll be telling him, take him down. This is where you're going to win the fight. Grind it out, grind it out. And if you're in Hermione's corner, an undisputed side in the blue corner, you'll be telling him, you just want to knock him out. Because that's exactly what he's good at doing. Right, we're going to round two. Let's see how these boys fare. Hiramoni, you're going to be looking to exchange again. Caleb with those upstairs. One from there. And Hiramoni's offloading. That's all he's going to look to do. Caleb's going to look for that takedown, but he eats a few punches from there. Now backing up. He's looking in for that takedown, which is not coming for him. He's not doing it with enough conviction. Hiramoni's going to gas himself out if he just keeps punching like this. But let's see where these boys go. Hiramani just taking a break. It looks like he might actually be looking to sink in a guillotine from there. Caleb equally up to it. He's holding those hands, preventing that from happening. Both boys are looking very, very tight after that first round. I think it did take quite a bit out of both of them. But you never know with these big guys. They always store this energy up and then all of a sudden explode. Hiramani's just got to be careful there. You know, one of those punches slip off into the head. That's a very unlucky punch there. And he is striking towards the face, but it is hitting on the hand, so it's up to the ref's, ref's discretion on what they do there. Hold your 
Oh, just watching the punches there. It does look like it's coming very, very close to actually striking in the head. Just seems to have staggered a bit. Let's see where these boys go from here. Definitely, Harimoni has decided to take this in this next round. Caleb has just crouched over him. He had to put his hand on the ground. He can't hit him in the face. But I don't think he realizes that at the moment. So I would just touch the ground. He wouldn't be able to hit him. He wouldn't be able to knee him. He wouldn't be able to do anything, any of his attacks from there. But, you know, that's the, that's the tactics of MMA. Because if three, three points are grounded, he can't hit him in the face. So I'd just touch the ground if I was him. It's just weighing heavy on him at the moment. This is just unexplained by Caleb. I mean, if it was me and I was a fighter, I'd be that, if I was that close to the ground, I'd be putting my hand on the ground to stop him punching me in the head, or possibly giving me a knee. That's just the way that I'm looking at it from right here because he is that close. I mean, you can even see here in the morning, leaning his hand on the ground in between bits of taking strikes at him. That just is an utter obliteration by Heramani on Caleb Ewan. I don't know whether he's broken something or whether he's hurt. But I think he needs to take a long, hard look in between rounds and see if he really wants to be in for the rest of this fight. Round three, and we have the third and final round. Let's see where these boys go. I reckon they just stand and bang. Oh, what an amazing up kick. And Caleb slipped, which gave Her Herimani the, the thing. Herimani just teeing off. Caleb's got to keep his head up. Oh, and he seems to have eaten something, and he just slips onto his back. Oh, and almost takes Herimani up. Caleb looking to drive. He's looking to link those hands, and if he does, Herimani's going to find himself on the back. Let's see if he can link those hands and pull him out of the cage. He's definitely down. He needs to get up onto his feet to be able to drive and turn him around. Harimani, if he just fell over, would actually fall on top of him. And as I said, he just fell straight on top of him. This is not a good position for Caleb. Harimani does seem to be sizably bigger in the upper body and will potentially use that weight to hold him down. Starts with a mean strike to the ribs from there. This is just all hero money, this one. It's just where he wants to be. He's got to stay busy, though, otherwise the ref's going to stand him up. If he's not busy, we'll stand him up, which is very interesting. Doesn't, these boys are both breathing very heavy at the moment. Sitting here watching this, these boys are both very, very tired from the first two rounds. Caleb's got to look to shrimp and maybe get out of this. He's got to switch, get out of it, Brad. Hiramoni is a very, very heavy on top of him. You can see him really leaning that weight in at the moment, and that will be bearing down. I don't know what you'd be looking for from the uh, I'd be looking maybe to try up an anaconda or a Kimura, you know, maybe use that hand that's there. You know, he's got the leverage, he can use the weight. Caleb just has to shrimp and squeeze and squirm and everything to get out of it from there. Caleb is bearing, breathing very, very heavy, and it just looks like. Eremon, he's just going to lie there. He's got his, his forearm in the throat, and that'll be cutting off a bit of the circulation, which is pretty good from him. 
But same thing with Caleb. He can put his form into him and drive him up. He needs to make space to be able to get out of it. He needs to shrimp, explode out of there, push him off of him. Doesn't, doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. Veramon is just quite happy to just sit on top of him and just lie there from the pads and things. He's not, he's not appearing to actually progress himself, advance the move, work harder, strike, all of those sort of things, which is what is required to keep a fighter there, you know. Um, I really think, in my honest opinion, the ref should stand them up. That's, uh, that's my own opinion at the moment. I definitely think the ref maybe should look at possibly standing these two up. Let them stand and bang. Let them give the crowd what they want. But I'm not the ref in this thing. I'm just the commentator. We've got 10 seconds to go, and it looks like we're possibly going to have 10 seconds of Aramani lying on top of Caleb. Not doing anything. It's a bit, a bit poor for the fans, but unfortunately, it is a tactic in fighting, so the boys can't get out of it. Unlucky. As to how you score this, it's going to have to be 2-1 to one to Hiramani. That's the way I see it. Unlucky for Caleb, because I definitely think if it was on the head, on the feet, I think it could have been a better outcome. But, you know, that is life. That is the way it works, and that's the way we go from here. Well done to both of these boys. As I called it, Hermani takes the win. And unlucky for Caleb, I definitely think he could have done a bit more, but very good day for the undisputed guys. They take the win, and uh, definitely it'll be a lot better for them. Well done to both of these fighters. That was really good.